Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I have a 2019 Nissan Frontier and I want to put some side steps on it today. So I went online, I ordered some Iron Bison and uh, it should be pretty easy to do, but I'm gonna actually do this side, but I'll show you how I do the, the driver's side. But for now, uh, let's get this box open and see what's in the box. Okay, so this is uh, what comes in the box. We'll just cut these uh, straps off here. And we'll put that away so there's no accidents. Some styrofoam. It's always good to have. Especially if you have a bunch of old Nintendo cartridges in the box and you need styrofoam. There you go. Okay. So this was kind of glued down a little bit. of uh, nuts and bolts and it looks like we've got hangers so these are all hangers in here and I noticed that we've got some in a green bag and then we've got some in a clear bag so I'm sure that's the left and right and it does come with a uh, little sheet here and they are uh, passenger and driver specific. Um, tells you the torques, the torque specs on here, um, basically for the eight millimeter. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't have specs for any other bolts. But it says you're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench and an Allen wrench. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty straightforward, so. And then, I see. So this one is the clear bubble wrap. So, and it says this is passenger side. So clear is passenger side, green is driver side. And that's nice that they uh, did that with me. Uh, take this out see what it looks like wow so first impressions those actually look pretty nice so this is this is going to be the bottom because we've got some uh, some uh, nuts there this is what it's gonna look like. I'm not sure if you can see this, but yeah, I quite like them. All right, so let me kind of organize myself. I'm gonna get this side on and then uh, I'll get the truck turned around and we'll uh, show you how I did it. Okay, so I've got this one installed and uh, actually looks really good I like it eventually I do want to get some black wheels but uh, on the front the front bracket here if I can bring you in here let's turn on my light there's a uh, there's all this wiring loom and there's not a lot of a whole lot of room up there you can see 
bolts there, I think. Uh, right over here, there, there they are right there. But there's just not a whole lot of room in there because of this loom. So I was able to get my torque wrench on there and I torqued these down at, at uh, 20 foot pounds. And uh, it seems pretty solid. So, you know, there's a, there's a bolt here and then there's a bolt up on the, on the side there. So let me get this turned around and I'll show you uh, how to get this installed. Okay, so we're on the driver's side. So you're gonna need the ones the, in the green bags. And uh, we'll just take them all out of here. It doesn't matter which, there's three of them, it does, doesn't matter which one goes where, just they are side specific, I guess you could say. And then you don't wanna tighten these up uh, and, it, and it talks about in here. And I think in the beginning, I mentioned in here that you need an Allen wrench and actually you don't, you don't need an Allen wrench, but this, the instructions are pretty easy. You know, you just, you just put all these, these bolts on there, but you're going to need for each one, you're going to need uh, a washer and a nut for, you know, the top and the bottom. And you don't want to tighten them up. You want to make sure they're loose. Um, and I'll show you why once we get there. So um, I think I'm going to put you under the truck so you can see exactly how and where I'm putting these. Okay, so to put these on, you know, you can see those are slotted. You just slide them on there. And then uh, grab yourself a, a washer and a nut. You just put that on there like this. But you don't want to tighten these up. You want to have them loose. And I'm at the front of the truck. Okay, so you just want a couple of threads and so you can move this around. Um, and do that with all three of them and then uh, and then we can put on the the step rail okay so, you, so this is the back and you can see where you uh, put the, the back screw and then there's one on the bottom as well so let me get this uh, moved around I'll show you how I put this on okay Okay, so in order to put this on, I'm gonna grab one of your nut or one of your bolts. And how I did the other side was, you know, those little brass things. I just set these on there and I started with the middle, found that was easier. And then you just you line that up and you screw that in. If you have problems with it, I'm gonna try to be careful not to scratch your truck. But you can you can move that around, and you can look at the back one if you're careful. There we go. And I just got this finger tight. You know that way I can uh, get over here and do the same with the others and you just kind of slide that around until, until you can get the screw in there we go And then you got to get the ones on the back. So I'm just kind of reaching up, up, up behind. 
and just screw it in there. Leave it loose. Um, when I did the other side, I kind of tightened them up as I went. And that's definitely not how you do it. You want to keep them loose until you get them all in. one up a little bit more. There we go. Because you need this thing to move around. There we go. And then I go on these back ones and tighten those up finger tight. And I did find that it's easier if you have one of these ratcheting um, wrenches. And this is a 13. And I went up on the back first and I just tightened it up. And then I did the bottom. Okay. So it's tight but it's not torqued. So I have, uh, I have a little 3 8 torque wrench here and I've got it set for 20 foot pounds. And uh, let's, uh, let's torque those down. Uh, let's see, see that there I think. Now these are not rock sliders, so if you want rock sliders, I think you have to get something different. And that looks fine. Yeah, see this one here is just barely, barely grabbing a thread. So I'm going to take this washer off on this one. And I'll just, it says in the instructions that you need to, you need to check these every once in a while. There we go, I think. Okay, let's try this again. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, 20 pounds. And then uh, let's move over to these other two. Shouldn't not be nearly as difficult. I'm gonna pull you guys over here a little bit. There's just not a lot of room. I apologize. Okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my my wrench and uh, these back ones. I'm just gonna tighten them down. And you can you can put put it on your torqued one so you can kind of feel what it 
what it feels like. Okay, I think we're good, and that feels solid. Okay, so there it is. Um, so I did have, uh, couldn't use one of these washers on this front one on the driver's side on the top, just because my stud was a little too short, I guess. So let me pull this out, and I'm going to show you guys uh, what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now, again, these are from Iron Bison. Uh, I got these particular ones from eBay. I just did an eBay search for Iron Bison Nissan Frontier. And I think it looks pretty good. I do have a little bit of a mild lift, so that makes it look nice too. So, uh, the, the lift is an all dogs off-road, uh, two inches in the back and two and a half in the front. And I really like these because you don't really lose any ground clearance. Uh, those brackets are even with the frame. But, you know, I was looking at other ones and they had like the stirrups and other ones. They looked good, but, you know, I do drive this up in those mountains from time to time. So I wanted something with a little bit of clearance. And then uh, we'll get on the passenger side here, kind of in the shade, but uh, I hope you guys can see that. But it looks good. So that's uh, the Iron Bison. Again, I'll put my eBay search in the uh, comment in the comment section. And uh, in case you guys wanted to get these from eBay, I believe they have a website as well, and I've seen them on Amazon. So uh, whatever your flavor is, that's how you can get them. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, again, I'll put the link in the comment section on how I got these. I just did an eBay search. Again, Iron Bison, Nissan Frontier. That's how I, that's how I found them. Uh, they did come with free shipping. They do have a website. You can get them on Amazon and uh, tons of other places. So, but that's gonna do it for this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.